so I'm working on the exhausts on this hurricane. I've got the slip on off. Here's what a 20 year old Kirker looks like on the inside. Pretty rusty. I can't get the slip on off. It's stuck. I pulled on it with pliers. I don't know. I don't. Aside from drilling a hole and hook tying a rope to it, I don't think it's going to come off. It's held on by one of these uh, pull together things. I probably pried it apart too far. It's a pretty exotic exhaust. It has 13 millimeter bolt holding on and a 11 millimeter. That's always nice. So with this, the bolt that holds it onto the muffler, uh, for people in the future, try to get it off. I just put some WD-40 on the threads and clean the threads. And then I'm going to put some of this anti-seize lubricant on it because the bolt's starting to rust so it'll come off easier another trick I learned I had a nut stuck in a socket is to put the bolt in the socket and with the bolt pointing this way you take a screwdriver and you hit the lip of the socket and the socket will come right off so if you have a nut stuck on there just put a bolt in the nut and have it facing this way and then hit the, the lip of the socket with a screwdriver it should come off look at some more things with this Kirker Here's what the baffle and the packing material look like. I'm sure the, this is the original material. This is what the pipe looks like. The end cap pulls off, so it's took some steel wool to the end cap. So on, on motocross bikes, we used to just pack a baffle with house insulation and wrap the whole thing with duct tape. So you can do that. It isn't permanent. Uh, it costs like $20 last time I looked for packing material for baffles. So I'm probably not going to wrap the whole thing. I'll just wrap it with duct tape. And the duct duct tape will burn off and you know these exhausts really don't have any maintenance to them uh, uh, the Kirker was corroded I took metal polish to it and it came out pretty good uh, and the way the way I do it is I use a mother's mag and aluminum polish. I call everything paste, but it's polish. And I wipe you wipe it on, then you wipe it off. You don't have to wait for it to dry or anything, I guess. And I usually go through about five or six paper towels. I mean, you could be doing this for hours to get the metal totally clean. And after I get sick of it, I just spray it off with WD-40. Like I have, this is cleaned already. So you spray it with WD-40. And I'm sure metal dirt will come out. You can see the, the dirt and the metal starting to come out. 
so you get piles of rags like this. Usually I fold them up nice so I have a good side. You fold them to a little napkin and you get like three or four clean sides out of it. So after you get sick of trying to clean clean these pipes and get every all the metal dirt out of it, I just take the WD-40 and spray. So this is what you paid uh, 250 bucks for back in the 80s. A bunch of pipe. Three pieces of pipe with a clamp on it. Maybe you picked up your hot wife with this sexy Kirker on. It probably might have been worth it. So a tarnished pipe ugh, looks all right with the mother's metal polish. So don't be afraid to polish your parts. You can also polish other parts on your bike. Oh. Like on this, you can polish the hand levers. You can polish your foot peg hangers and the exhaust pipe. It isn't permanent, but it looks looks nice. It only takes like an hour. Okay, cool.